What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today we have this very, very nice electric bike from Magnum Bikes. The model number is the Nomad. Now this is my first electric bike review. I've done more research on this uh, review than I think any other ever. I've had this thing for over six months. I put over 100 miles on it. I've ridden other e-bikes in the neighborhood. I went to my dealer and got an education on e-bikes from my local dealer. I spent dozens of hours on the internet to make sure my knowledge is where I want wanted it before I did a review. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go step inside. I wanted to show you the bike a little here, but I'm gonna go step inside where it's nice and warm. There's no wind, there's no birds chirp, chirping. You know, I don't have to worry about my puppy walking around and we'll get into this review. Sorry I had to switch things up. It is about 35 degrees outside, it's cold, and I'm a baby, so I wanted to come in here, and it's a little windy anyway. So for my regular viewers here, I know this is a little different than what I normally review, but there's a lot of really good uses for an e-bike in the outdoor, sporting, hunting community that we're gonna get to, so please be open-minded until I get to the uses of this thing. As I mentioned earlier, this is a very big, heavy e-bike. It comes in just under 75 pounds. So if you're a smaller statue person and not very strong, this might not be the e-bike for you. If you need something big and powerful, this is definitely the e-bike for you. Obviously, Magnum Bike has other bikes. So as we go through and you see how big, heavy, and powerful this is, if this is not your jam, don't worry. Magnum Bikes has dozens of other bikes. And I'm sure they'll have something that fits your needs. So power, again, big, heavy bike, big powerful motor. It has a bow fang, I believe it's a 50 watt bow fang hub motor. Most Magnum bikes are hub motors. There's one, maybe two that are not, but most of them are hub, uh, hub motors. There's six different levels of power assist that we're gonna get into in just a minute, and it goes up to 28 miles per hour. And if you've never gone that fast on a bike, 28 miles an hour on a bike is smoking fast. That's like 100 miles an hour on a motorcycle. It's it's very, very fast. Uh, I find the throttle, the throttle's a grip throttle. I find it very comfortable, even on long rides, holding it down, it's in a good place. It'd be cool if it had a lock to lock it in place, but that may not be the safest thing in the world, but I think that would be good. The battery is also very large and very powerful. Again, if you have a very powerful motor and a heavy bike, you need a powerful battery to, uh, to, to, to power it up. It goes between 35 to 55 mile range is what it's rated at, and that's about what I saw. Um, it is uh, obviously going to depend on the terrain, on how much weight and, and all the, and how much pedal assist, how much power you're using, but you're going to get around 35 to 55 miles. The battery will recharge in about seven to eight hours if you drain it down all the way, which we did do that a few times. And there is a lock on the battery. The battery is removable and there's a lock. Funny story. First time I charged it, I wasn't thinking I brought the whole e-bike in the house and I'm like, what am I doing? The battery comes off dummy um, but there is a lock so if you get somewhere you don't have to worry about somebody grimy stealing your battery and you being trapped somewhere 20 miles away that would be terrible all right let's talk about the controls so this can be configured as a class one class two or class three e-bike turning it on is very very simple there's a power button you hold that for a few seconds and the display turns on the display is a Magnum branded Velox, Velox display, however you say it. Very simple, gives you all the information you need. There's a battery display here on the left that's uh, broken up into a bar. There's an assist level, which again, we'll talk about all the different assist levels here in just a second. Shows you your current speed, shows you your power output, trip distance, odometer. Again, I just hit 100 miles and uh, uh, a few other small things as well. Now you can see this day and night because it is backlit enough. So you can see it at nighttime. We did go for a little bit of a night ride. And let's get into the speed assist level. So it has a passive level all the way down. And being, again, this is a bigger heavy bike. It's probably the theme of the video here. It's very tough to use without any pedal assist. You gotta be really big and strong or a glutton for punishment. Then it goes Eco, Tour, Sport, Sport turbo and boost. They all go about 20 miles an hour and the higher you go, the less effort that is required to get to that 20 miles an hour. Um, the higher level though will use more battery life. So if I was going up a hill, I'd probably kick it up to boost is what I would do. But if I'm just cruising along, most of the time I kept it in eco or tour because I still wanted to get a little bit of an exercise. There's another level as well that most people don't know about, and this is not a corny dad joke. It's called Super Boost. I'm not kidding, I swear. When you're on boost, if you hit the up button again, it goes to Super Boost. The boost uh, icon will flash. That's how you know you're in Super Boost mode. And that's when you go up to 28 miles per hour, and I'm not kidding, 28 is darn fast on a bicycle. All right, the tires. 
Like everything else, they're very, very big. Surprise, surprise. They're 26 inch tires. They're four inches wide. Uh, they did good on small gravel. They did good on bigger rocks. Um, super smooth on the road. I thought with these huge tires, it wasn't gonna be great on the road, but with the tread they have, they were they were good on the road. And they even did pretty good on beach as well. I live near the beach, we go all the time. On soft sand, it was a little sketchy, but it was okay. On the harder, wet sand, it was very, very good. Brakes, just like everything else, they're big. They're um, stop this very fast moving large bike pretty quickly. They're hydraulic disc brakes, they're adjustable, 180 millimeter rotors, and uh, I'm happy that there was very large brakes on this very large bike. Now the frame is a step through design, and you can make fun of me, but I'm old, I have back problems, I have knee problems, and I wanted the step through design just to make it easier to get on and off. If you're not old, uh, there is a version called the Scout, which is in a really ex similar, similar bike, it's just not a step through design. You have four different colors, I prefer this uh, kind a Ranger OD green kind of color, but you can do whatever you want. Aluminum frame, 18 inches. Now the front does have an adjustable suspension, so different um, rider weights, different payloads, different terrains, all that different stuff, you can adjust it. There's also a mount for a water bottle, of course, when you go on your nice long rides and you want some cool, refreshing water, you can mount the uh, holder. Um, the one thing I didn't use much is the gears. It has seven speed, Shimano gears, I know it's a big brand and I'm probably butching it again, but um, I really didn't adjust the gears. With the pedal assist, I didn't find the need. I put it on six, seven, whatever it's on right now, and I pretty much left it there. Even on a hill with the pedal assist, I didn't see the need to switch the gears, even though they are pretty effective. All right, speed round. You ready? We're gonna go through this quick. It's made for somebody 5'5 five, five to 6'4. The frame on the back can hold up to six pounds. It has straps. This basket does not come with it. I added the basket on because I thought it looked cool and I want somewhere to put my laptop. Uh, there's a light on the front for night rides. It's decent. You hold the plus, turn it on, hold the plus arrow down. That turns the light on. It's good. The tail light in the back, the stop light, turns on automatically when you, when you pull either brake. The kickstand. The kickstand like everything else on this bike is huge, beefy, solid. It was one of the, mo the things I'm most impressed about with this bike, which is weird. You could probably have this kickstand on a motorcycle and it would do okay. It's it's a very, very solid kickstand. Besides the rack on the back, I also did add this phone holder, a Cool Guide Tiberius sticker, and that's all the things I think I added. The stem is adjustable for different rider types, positions, whether you wanna lean over or be up or heights or whatever. And then the pedals are very nice as well, the metal uh, welt. Welts, pedals, however you say it. I'm butchering everything in this video. Just know the pedals are metal and they're very nice. All right, big bike, like I said, here's the dimensions for the 80th time. It's around 73 pounds, just over $2,000. This is not a cheesy, cheap bike. It's a high-end, nicer bike and uh, the price is there accordingly. There will be an affiliate link down in the video description if you wanna be nice and use that link and pick anything up. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Assembly was very easy. It took me about a half hour and I'm not very mechanically inclined. Most of the bike comes assembled. I had to put the tires on, put the brakes on, uh, a couple zip ties, and I was done. It was very easy. And it also does also have a five-year warranty, which is good. All right, let's talk about testing and uses now. I beat the snot out of this bike, I was not gentle. I wanted to see if it could handle what my mountain bike could handle, and it did, and I probably, it probably put it through more than what it's built and intended for, but it handled it all. So, a bunch of gravel, a bunch of rocky roads and rocky trails, some really big rocks on those trails, a bunch of sand, uh, dirt roads, uh, beach sand, a lot of beach sand, and it did pretty good on beach sand, even with those tires. A ton of puddles, you can make fun of me, I'm a child, when I'm on a bike, or I'm on my Bronco and I see a puddle, my family knows we're going through that puddle at the fastest speed we can safely, sometimes unsafely, go through that puddle as a necessity. So thank the Lord I had those nice adjustable fenders on there that I forgot to mention and I didn't get wet. I'm like my son who goes through puddles. He got nice and wet. Most of the trips I took on him were shorter trips. One to two miles, going to the beach, going to the store, which is about a quarter of a mile away. I use this a lot going back and forth to the store. Uh, we have a river right down the street, which is also about a quarter mile, leads to the ocean. We do a lot of fishing, so tackle box, fishing poles in the back. Me and my son went down to the river, did some fishing, and it's very, very nice being so close to that river. It's great. I took a couple medium trips. We're talking five, 10 miles. There's a lot of um, 
trails around here, running, bike, hiking trails. So I would actually ride the bike to the trail and then drive on the trail. And I did that several times. It was fun. And that's where all the rocky terrain and everything comes from that I mentioned. I did one, what I would call really long trip by somebody who doesn't, by people who bike, 26 miles round trip is probably not very long, but for me, that's a very, very long trip. I drove all the way to the main beach here in town and I tooled around town for a little while and then came all the way back in total. It was 26 miles. I spent time. I had lunch. I did some work. It was a great, beautiful, warm August day unlike this 35 degree weather. Anyway, I did that on a full battery. Most of the time I kept it on eco. I pedaled quite a bit because I like getting the exercise and out of the four battery levels, it still had three left. Now, I don't know if it was about to go down to 50 percent, whatever. It still had three of the four battery levels left. And I thought that was good. So as far as uses, like I said in the beginning of the video, I I know this is different than the content I normally type, I normally make, but these things are great for tooling around town like I like I did, but also if you're a hunter and you need to get around a property a lot quieter than a gas engine, these things are great. If you want to put a trailer on the back and tow a trailer and put your kill on the back of the trailer and not have to carry and hump out some he heavy elk or moose or deer or bear or whatever, that's going to be a lot easier on you, especially if you're older in age. Uh, if you have a good sized property and you want to get around and tend to your property, um, you know, make sure there's no trespassers, check the game. Again, a much quieter way to get around your property and check things out if you need to and a lot easier than walking as well. Uh, quick story, I was at the range and I had this back in the back of my minivan when I used to have a van and I had to hang up a target 300 yards down range. So I took the bike out, I drove <laughs> the 300 yards, hung my target up, came back, drove it back again to take the target down. I just didn't feel like walking 1200 yards round trip 1200 yards twice so i took the bike and uh, the guys at the range made fun of me but i don't care it was easy um so anybody who's an outdoorsman hunter hiker if you have property anything like that consider an e-bike because they have a lot of uses and um they're very very quiet all right the pros the thing i'm gonna call out first is that it's fun I think you can tell my excitement and the excitement and the joy is 100% sincere. It was so much fun riding an e-bike compo compared to a regular bike. I let my neighbors ride it. I let um, uh, my nephews ride it. I had it during 4th of July. We had a 4th of July party. Probably a dozen people rode it, friends and family. And everybody comes off that thing with a big smile on their face because again, it's big, it's fast, it's fun. It's just a blast. It's very, very comfy. I found it a lot more comfy than my mountain bike with the adjustable stick and the nice comfy seat is a very very comfortable ride even when I went 26 miles again which is a lot for me uh, my <laughs> my backside's not used to it uh, the range is really good the speed is great the fat tires did a very very good job uh, on all terrains again a little sketchy on soft sand but I would assume most bikes would be uh, the payloads over 300 pounds so if you're a bigger person or um, you need to carry uh, a little bit more weight or a trailer or something 300 pound payload is pretty good I'm gonna call out the kickstand again you can make fun of me this kickstand is big and beefy and serious again probably something that could be on a smaller motorcycle it is a serious serious kickstand um, the last two things I want to mention five-year warranty I think I said that already and um, the brakes the brakes are solid I think it stops very quickly for a bike that's so big and so fast as far as cons I don't have a con I just want to say one more time if you're not the biggest person if you're not the strongest person I don't think this particular bike is right for you because for the hundredth time it's big it's heavy it's fast it's awesome uh, but once one more time uh, Magnum bikes does have other smaller bikes so for example my wife's five foot one she got on it she tooled around for a couple seconds and said yeah this is a little too big for me I'm all set so you get the point overall I give this thing an A plus I love it it's awesome I will definitely use this going forward. I'm not getting rid of it. I will use it a ton. And uh, now the problem is my wife wants an e-bike. My son wants an e-bike. My daughter wants an e-bike. And getting this bike to review is going to cost me <laughs> three more e-bikes because they all want one now. Speaking of that, let me thank Magnum for sending the bike out to the channel. Very, very nice of them to support me. Greatly, greatly appreciated. There's an affiliate link again down in the video description. If you want to support me, click that link and you purchase anything, I get a kickback. I appreciate it. That's all I got for you today. Thank you guys for watching. It is truly appreciated every single time you watch. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you think I deserve it, like, comment. It's free, easy, helps me out. Subscribe and enable the bell notification. So I got itchy nose. Subscribe and enable the bell notification. That more than anything else helps keep this channel going. I appreciate it. Santa appreciates it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.